Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today, we're checking out an amazingly authentic amp emulation pedal from Universal Audio. Let's get started. Today, we're looking at the Dream 65 Reverb Amplifier, which is this pedal from Universal Audio in front of me. It's part of the new family of amp emulation pedals from Universal Audio. And I have to tell you, it sounds absolutely amazing. It's so authentic. And what it does beyond give you just that classic 65 deluxe reverb tone is it gives you mods, multiple speakers, multiple speaker cabinets, all kinds of options for creating incredible tones. Let's take a closer look. The 65 Deluxe Reverb is one of those iconic amplifiers. It's the American Clean Amplifier, the California Clean Amplifier. Everything from country music to jazz to rock music, all sorts of tones are available in that amplifier. And it's been used by countless artists on countless recordings and countless stages through the years. But beyond that, the 65 Deluxe is also a fantastic pedal platform. It takes drive pedals very well, modulation pedals, time-based pedals, all those things work great through a Deluxe Reverb. And it's also capable of delivering awesome lead tones as well when you crank up that input. Now all those capabilities are inside the Dream 65 Reverb pedal, but we've got more as well. Here's Tor Mogensen from Universal Audio to give us a little bit of the backstory on how they got started working on the Dream 65 Reverb pedal. So Dream 65, I mean, obviously choosing that amplifier um, was just a no-brainer. It's, you know, you know, it's arguably the most classic amp in history. It's the most recorded. And the other thing that's really apparent once you really start using them um, is how incredibly versatile they are. Because you can do anything from like super duper clean stuff, country or, you know, Grateful Dead, early Jerry Garcia tones over like, you know, Texas blues rock. To you know, pretty pretty saturated you know '80s LA sounds, and and you know the idea of having one pedal that can pretty much cover every single thing you could ever need, and have all these sounds just be amazing is is just mind blowing to me. And uh, and the funny thing is, if you wanted to achieve all those sounds in a real amp, you really can't because you have to swap out the speakers, you have to have different mods, so you could have like if you want the country sound, you really want one set of speakers in there, and you don't want any mods. But if you want that, you know, 80s, you know, Lucifer style sound, you know, you have to mod your amp, you have to put in a different speaker. And then we haven't even started talking about like, you know, oh, I want to get the Steve Vaughan sound. You have to do a whole nother thing. And, you know, having that in a pedal is just amazing because it's just a flip of a toggle switch away and you have all these sounds readily available to you. Now, of course, deciding you're going to do this amplifier is one thing. Finding the amplifier that you're going to recreate is another thing. Here's James Santiago from Universal Audio talking about the search for the gold reference standard deluxe reverb amp. 
one of the reasons I couldn't use any of the amps I currently have is because I did those mods to my amps over the years trying to chase those sounds. So all of mine have an added mid middle control or bypass the bright cap or have a master hidden somewhere. Which is funny enough, some of the stuff in Dream sort of replicates those mods. So it's like, well, uh, one is like, well, I got to go find a nice stock one again that someone hasn't messed with. So uh, luckily, I'm close proximity to a place called Norm's Rear Guitar. So I called Norm one day. I said, dude, I need to find the best sounding, you know, deluxe reverb from these certain years. And he's like, well, I've been holding on to an amp for many years. It came from a, a session guy in town here. So I went over, he dug it out of his locker for me and went and heard it. And I had to apologize. He said, well, I'm going to hear it clean, then I'm going to put it on 10 because it's got to have that lead sound. And if I break it, I'm sorry, I'll pay for it. You know, um, but I, I went through a few amps and he had this one here. And it was like everything you'd hope for in Deluxe Reverb, which I had learned from players that you should be able to get this great clean sound low. And if you put it at like six or seven with a humbucker, it's got like the coolest lead sound. And this amp did that in a very beautiful way that, that it's like, I, I left and said, I can't leave the store without this amp. One day we'll model it. I just need this amp to go and be part of our collection because I know one day we're going to get to it. So that's another one of those we've been holding on to this amp. And actually the tank from that did end up in golden because it had the best sounding spring tank I ever heard either. So we're, we've finally been able to release the whole thing as one giant love letter to that circuit, which I think all of the boutique builders have probably been stealing and modifying for God knows 50 years now. Once they had the amplifier and the concept together, then they set out to make the pedal. And it's an authentic recreation of a 65 Deluxe Reverb. As James mentioned, they found that gold reference standard. It includes a spring reverb that's very authentic sounding. In fact, it's the same spring reverb tank that was used in the golden reverb pedal from Universal Audio. It also has onboard tremolo, and we've got some mods as well. So we've got the stock 65 Deluxe Reverb. We've also got a uh, what's referred to as an OD Special or an Overdrive Special style mod to a Deluxe Reverb. And we've got a Texas mod, if you will, sort of an SRV Fender Tone that's uh, also included as one of the mods. So we have three different apps to choose from. Each of those has a boost built in as well. There's a clean boost on the 65 Deluxe and so on. And the pedal comes with three speaker cabinets and types of speakers on board. When you register the pedal, you get three more speaker cabinets and speaker choices. So you can mix and match among those three different types of 65 Deluxes, the straight one or the vintage one, and the modded ones, along with those six different cabinets and speaker types. Beyond that, we've also got microphone and room emulation from the Ox from Universal Audio. And that gives us those authentic tones as if we've got a microphone on the speaker on the amplifier itself. The pedal can be used in two modes. There's live mode, where you're dialing up the sound you want using the front panel settings, and you can also store a single preset and recall it using the preset foot switch. Now we'll look at some ways later using an app that allows you to call up more presets and to reconfigure what those switches are doing. But as the pedal comes out of the box, we've got live mode with the front panel controls and a single preset that's available. The pedal can be operated in a variety of signal path routings. We can go mono in, stereo in, and mono in or stereo out. And there also are special modes if you want to use this pedal with a real amplifier, if you will, or if you want to incorporate effects with it or add it as an additional channel to one of your existing amps. We've got dual engine processing that allows for custom setups where we've got two different amplifiers on the left and the right. Again, even more tonal versatility. And the pedal is set up so that the input and the output can accept either instrument level signals, meaning guitar and bass, or line level signals. So you could also use this with synthesizers, keyboards, and audio interfaces in your studio as well. You can connect the pedal via Bluetooth to the UAFX app running on Android or iOS, and that allows you to access tons more presets. You can catalog, archive your presets there as well as organize them in the order that you want. And you can do things like reconfigure what the switches are doing and address some of the other settings as well. You don't have to have the app to use the pedal, but it does open up some new possibilities for you. And that same app can actually be used with all of Universal Audio's pedals, all of the UAFX line, the Golden, Starlight, Astra FX pedals, as well as the three amp modelers, Woodrow, Ruby, and the Dream 65. Let's take a tour of what's happening on the front panel of the Dream 65 reverb amplifier. Now, just like the amplifier, we have a volume control, and this would be the volume control for channel two, or the vibrato channel in the deluxe reverb. We've got bass and treble controls, and those function as you'd expect again from the amplifier. We've got a reverb control that feeds the signal into a tube-driven spring reverb tank. Sounds fantastic. And there is a master volume in this case. Now, that wouldn't have been on the original amp, but it's very handy, allowing you to drive the front end of the amp into overdrive while still keeping the volume manageable. Our final setting down here is the boost control, and this is a front end boost with the vintage amplifier it's a clean boost. When we switch to some of the modded amps, the boosts are a little bit different, and we'll look at that when we get to those amplifiers. We also have tremolo, just as the amp would have had. To access that, we push this switch, 
to the alt position, and now the treble control and the boost control become the tremolo speed and depth. Let's go through the speakers and the cabinets that are available on the Dream 65 first. I'm going to set this up on the vintage amp setting, which is the middle position here on the amp switch. Now the stock deluxe reverb amplifier would feed a single 12 inch Oxford speaker and that's the middle model here. The red light in the middle position gives us Oxford as you can see on the front panel. So basically what I have in front of me right now is a gold standard reference version of the original deluxe reverb amp unmodified. <laughs> That spring reverb sounds fantastic. Our bass and treble controls work just as they do on the original amplifier. At about 11 o'clock, which would be about four on the dial on the amplifier, you're at about flat at that point. That's about where the mid-range is preset. So four, four, and four. Gives us that sort of traditional deluxe tone. We've got tons more low end on tap, as well as lots more treble if you need more bite. Now as with the deluxe reverb, at this setting at about 9 o'clock, which would be about 3 on the dial, you're getting a nice clean sparkling tone. especially with single coil pickups like I have in this Telecaster. But as we crank that up, it's gonna start easing into breakup just like the real amp would. It's super dynamic, so your touch is really gonna affect what's happening with the signal. It also responds extremely well to your volume control. If we push the volume to about three o'clock or about eight-ish on the amp's volume knob, you're gonna get into a nice lead tone. And all the way up. So what we're hearing there is the sound of the amplifier as if we're turning up the preamp and hitting those power tubes harder and harder. Now let's drop that back to about 12 o'clock, which would be about five on the dial, and bring up that boost. So it's not a high gain amplifier in any sense of the term, but you can get quite a bit of sustain, quite a bit of crunch, and a big fat tone out of this amp. So let's dial things back here. We'll take the boost down. I'm gonna set this back to about nine o'clock. Bring the reverb down just a little bit, treble down. Now again, what you were hearing there is a recreation of the vintage amp with the vintage Oxford speaker. If we move our speaker selector up, it takes us to the GB25 position. Now this is basically a greenback loaded into the combo amplifier. So it's a Celestian speaker now in that vintage amplifier. So we've got the Oxford. The greenback. Not quite as bright on the top end. With distortion, gets a little bit more ragged, but it's a nice fat tone. If we go down to the third position, 
were on an EVM 12L, which was a very popular speaker to put into the combos in the 80s, especially for studio players. So our speaker options include the greenback in the combo, the Oxford in the combo, and the EV12 in the combo. Now when you register your pedal, you get three additional cabinets and speaker combinations. We push down again, we move to the green position at the top. Now this is gonna be two Celestion G1265s in a boutique two rock cabinet. Very different tone. In the middle position, we've got a fun cabinet. This is a 4x10 Super Reverb combo cabinet, and they've loaded that up with vintage CTS Alnico speakers. And finally, we've got two JBL D120Fs in a 2x12 cabinet. But it's not only the speaker and the cabinet that are changing, you're also changing what mic is on the cabinet. In some cases, it's a traditional 57 style. In another, it's a ribbon style, the R121. And in others, we've got a condenser microphone, the C414. So they've selected the appropriate microphone for the speaker that they're using as well. So all that goes into creating that authentic picture of the back end of the amp, the output of it. And that allows you to run direct into your audio interface for recording, direct into a PA system or an FRFR system on stage, or we could turn this off completely by pressing again, the light goes out, and now we have no speaker emulation, no mic emulation. The amp is still active, but if you're gonna run into a real amplifier, this is a setting you'd wanna use with no speaker emulation. So let's go back to our stock amplifier. We're in the middle. We're on the Oxford. Again, that's our stock 65 Deluxe Reverb amplifier. When we push the amp switch up, in this position we've got the characteristics of an OD special amplifier. And it's really apparent when you start working with the boost control. As you turn that up, the effectiveness of the tone stack drops down. You're basically taking the tone stack out of the circuit, which opens up the gain, gives you that boost that you want. And it also thickens up the mid-range as well. With this type of a mod amp, the speaker that was typically paired with it was that Greenback 25 in the deluxe combo cabinet. So let's listen to a little bit of that. <laughs> As we bring the boost up, So you can hear as we turn that boost up, not only is the gain increasing, but the tone's changing as well, especially in the mid-range. On the original amps, the output section was also compensated, so it didn't get muddy and mushy as you turned up that boost. And that's the same thing that's happening in this pedal as well. Now we'll take that boost back down. Let's move down to the D-Tex, or the SRV style mod amp. Now traditionally, this would be paired with an EV12. So we'll go down to that single speaker in the deluxe reverb combo. <laughs> Now this mod has more mid-range, more gain, and once again, as we turn that boost up, the gain increases and the tone stack drops out of effectiveness. One of the things I have to say about this pedal is not only does it sound fantastic, it responds authentically, but it feels right as well. The touch is correct. So when you're plugged in, you feel like you're actually plugged into the real amplifier. Now up until now, of course, I've been playing a Telecaster with a single coil bridge pickup. Now let's check out what the Dream 65 sounds like with humbucking pedals feeding it.
The pedal also works very well as a platform for gain pedals and other pedals in front of it, just like the real amp would. So let's go back to the stock amplifier. We'll go back to the stock speaker, set ourselves up for a fairly clean tone here. And I've got a Tumnus Overdrive. Let's listen to one more guitar in combination with the Dream 65. This is my ES-275. It's been pretty heavily modified. It has Charlie Christian style pickups in it. So it's a nice clean jazz style guitar. So the Dream 65 pedal gives you that authentic deluxe reverb sound no matter whether you're playing rock, you're playing country, you're playing jazz, blues, whatever it might be, whatever type of guitar you're playing, humbucker, single coil, P90s, all sorts of different pickups, all sorts of guitars, all sorts of styles, the Dream 65 can cover them all. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Universal Audio Dream 65 reverb amp pedal. Sounds fantastic, it feels fantastic, it's just super authentic whether you're going direct or you're using it in conjunction with your existing amplifier. Thanks for joining me today, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this, or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.